my blurry cam turned on. So, um, so I guess you'll be able to see my reactions just in the worst quality that you've ever seen. So, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so first of all, I am going to quickly pull up the screenshot that I took of the cobblestone generator that I built in my test world because I want to build it correctly on this world without screwing stuff up. Oh, I didn't even need the comparator. Okay. Well then. Oh well. So, what is that smooth stone? I will need to make more smooth stone. Uh, let's just cook a bit of that. So, to actually start the build, I will need to pick a place for it. And I think I will just replace this cobblestone generator since it has a tendency to light itself on fire already. Uh, just put that there. Put that there. Grab that. Okay, and I already have this piston here. So now that I think of it, I actually don't need the other one. Break all these. Okay, so the basic form of it. it is going to look like this. So we've got our regular piston here. Let's go grab our sticky piston. Grab that, uh, wood, so then I can make that, two of these, and now I do this, one repeater. First, I have a bunch of random stuff in my inventory right now. Okay. So that's back there. This is over here. have our repeater here pointing into that. This goes around and there is the observer over there. Let's grab that now. And this observer points this way. Okay, and now we just have our little thing to hold the lava and the water. Okay. So I already know, yep. Sorry, I didn't have the chat pulled up, so I didn't even notice there. <laughs> you there, Kernan. Uh... Okay, let's wait. Now I have wood right here. 
I'm making the V4 version of this, which means that I use trap doors to making to make things fancy. So first of all, we have water right here. Whoops, wrong way. Our water goes here. Um, yeah, I think that's correct. Yeah, okay, that's correct. And then right above that, okay. That works too. So now we have this, wait, no, that's not over there. This goes over here. here and water whoops water goes in here there we go cobblestone generator that does not clog itself up and it's very fast too all it needs is a single reset lever in the very back for rebooting it. Whoops, that is the other way around. Oh wait, 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 I forgot about this part. The part where it needs a furnace on one side to prevent itself from a bit of self-destruction. Right? Or was that? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's still a bit of bugginess to it, but. Oh, that's why it's bugging out. Um, let's put down granite here, a lever here. Okay, that will force it to stay on. That works correctly. I'm just gonna go to bed real quick first before I wreck myself. Okay, and now I place the furnace right here. And now this should prevent the cobblestone generator from wrecking itself because furnaces cannot be pushed. Okay, let's re-enable it. That's a lot better than how it was originally. All it took was a little bit of redstone. And let's also make one more furnace so that then we can put an end cap. Have it right here. And as you can see, that's how it works. But, whoops, did not mean to break that there. I forgot that there's a limit 
into how far back you can break things, but once you unclog it, instead of having to break and replace redstone, you just press the reset button. Okay, so let's also make a little thing to mark where it can be mined safely without breaking the rest of the machine. So that'll give us two blocks to mine, which actually is a bit short. Let's place this furnace a little bit further back instead. There we go. And I think I'm going to replace this with a reset button instead of a reset lever. So let's do that. First, let's also fill this up so that then we don't have any weirdness to worry about. And also cover these up. Well, just the lava, actually. So that then there's no chance of me jumping into the lava on accident. So now let's just get a plank here and a button there. Get some redstone. Uh, I want to keep using granite because I don't have any other use for granite, so I might as well use it for this. And let's have the reset button pass over on this side. Gotta grab some more redstone. Okay, and now if we mine this out, we should just have to press the reset button, and there we go. There we go, that makes things so much easier. And then if I'm done, oh hello there, Squid. When I'm done, I just leave it, and it'll just shut itself off automatically. Yeah. Do I want to do anything special with it though? I might extend it a little bit somehow. Let's use diorite for this part of it. Hey, get back in the water before you drown. In there. I want to make this part the water stream so that then if my inventory is full, it'll just pick up all of the blocks and dump them into a chest at the very end here. I know that's going to take a bit of iron, especially considering how I have to use a hopper for it, but I think it should be a good investment in the long run. Okay, so that's there. Whoops. And then this water stream will just flow this way and we'll just have a hopper at the end. I'm gonna fence this in actually. Which, yeah, there we go. And then I'll just have a hopper and a chest at the very end here. Yeah, I have plenty enough iron considering how I have even more to smelt still. 
So let's do that. Let's do that and then make a chest. Do I have enough wood to make another chest though? I do not from the looks of it. Okay, let's put away our redstone for now. Put away the extra trap doors. Combine this bow with my own. I can put away this as well. As well as this. Let's combine the two golden chest plates. And put redstone torches in there. So this will point into there. Oh boy. Okay, and I just need a sign as well. Do I have any? No, I do not. Yeah, okay, time to cut down some trees. Planting that later when it grows back, so get that going, get a sign going. Ah. There we go, that controls the flow of stuff. We have a chest at the end. I'm not entirely sure how well this will work out though considering how the stone will just kind of pop out randomly so I think I might actually just plug this entire area up and move the diorite this way inwards. There we go. Yeah, and then I just reset. And whatever I don't pick up goes into the hopper. Yeah, okay. And I can just stand right here at the very end and mine. Ooh. Looks like I might have to have a bit of a liner up in the very top as well. Um, hmm. First of all, let's light this up so that then we don't have to worry about mobs spawning around. I did break some torches on accident when I was building it. Oh wow, it's sunset already? there. Let's put one there. And hopefully with the trapdoor enclosing the lava entirely, nothing is going to be lit on fire this time around. Um, let's put a torch here, just in case. Do I have any more diorite? Uh, no, I do not. I do have a bit more granite. Okay. Might want to move this button a little bit further up instead now, though. So let's put that there. And wire this all the way up instead.
Okay, still works. Yep, still works. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Let's make a oak plank well, slab, I mean. And these here at the, oh, okay. The very end can just be like that. And that way I can put water back here, which will let me wash all the items Towards me. Yeah, just like that. Wait, that might actually be preventing the water flow. Yeah, that might actually not work quite as well as I was thinking it would. Whoops. Let's see. When it's like that. It is really freaking out right now with how, like, unevenly I've been mining as far as pacing goes. Yeah, I gotta have that. Unless I want to use some soul sand to pipe stuff around, but eh, let's not do that. It's only gonna be a couple of missing blocks, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So yeah, I can just stand here and mine. And the nice thing about this is that I can actually mirror the redstone and build two right next to each other. So if in the future I want to, say, like, do a auto cobble stone generator that not only generates but also breaks the blocks with TNT duping, then that's really not going to take too much effort to do. Just in case, I'm going to... Okay, yeah. So if I fall inside for whatever reason, I do not get killed. I just drop down into the water where I can crawl out from here. Okay. So yeah, we've got our building block problem more or less solved at the moment. We have plenty of cobblestone to go around now. So I think I might eventually start on like maybe another highway or something once I actually find where the fortress is. The next thing I want to do is make a kelp farm. 
or actually, does it even matter if I build a help farm or not considering I, if I have, uh, do I need a bottom channel anyway if you fill it with, um, stone does flow, it's just that the reason why I wanted to have the bottom channel is that then anything that I don't collect gets washed into this chest. I was just thinking that maybe if I had water on the top, it would wash it towards me first, but I noticed that if the water gets covered with the two layers of water, it no longer washes things towards the chest, so I'm just not going to include it. So one of the th things I want to do as well is make a kelp farm because kelp dried kelp blocks can smelt many items at a time but I don't want to have to go out into uh, the open ocean to collect kelp like this because one it gets very messy and two it wouldn't be very hard for me to get like ambushed by a drowned with a trident and that would lead to a very quick death. So I think what I'll do next is build a kelp farm just somewhere around here. And there's an enderman somewhere around. So first of all, let's use the existing kelp blocks to smelt more kelp. rest of the kelp together and it appears that I am about to run out of food so let's go fishing a bit For fish. Some mobs over there. Okay, we got a fish. Let's head over there before they despawn. I wonder what enchantments are on their armor. Okay, so we got some of the usual drops. Wow, this one is hardy. There we go. Okay, got some arrows. Anything over here? Yep, Feather Falling 3. That's pretty nice. And what's this? Protection 2. I don't think that a Protection 2 leather chest plate is gonna be nearly as good as iron, so I'm not gonna bother with it. What I think I will do actually is make a grindstone, because that way I can at least get some levels out of the armor that I don't want. So I have some smooth stone still. And I think it's just like this, right? Whoops, I don't have enough sticks, do I? So it's like this. 
and then like no hmm okay your recipe book what you got nothing is it supposed to be stone slabs okay time for some minecraft wiki Okay, so it is just like this, apparently. That's weird, the recipe never showed up in my crafting book. And it's already turning nighttime again. Let's just run back over real quick, place down the grindstone, and let's head back. Oh, I just realized, because I now have much more iron and redstone, I can go on with the idea that I had for, like... First of all, let's do that. I can continue on with the idea that I had to make that a hybrid mob and XP farm by having like an extra level that'll push in and you know give mobs a platform to land on without dying. Okay, so let's do that then. I will need how much slime do I have? Six, I will need four sticky pistons. So let's grab that. I already have, whoops, one piston, so I just need to make three more. One, two, three. And I'll need more wood for that too. And my axe broke, so I'm just gonna punch the tree. forget about the saplings this time around. Come on. Give me a sapling. I have plenty enough sticks. Come on, Minecraft. There we go. Okay, and now it's piston time. Oops. One more, one more. And now I just do this. Four sticky pistons. And I will... Okay, I have this with me. I want to make the like stop point a little bit higher up because I know that I made the actual like mob grinder a little bit taller than it had to be just in case. Did a witch die? No, that was just rotten flesh, okay. So let's place this down here. I'm gonna make some cobblestone slabs. And I can only use cobblestone for scaffolding. And let's do it right around here. So like that. And then on the other side, whoops. that and now over
over here, we do the same. Put that there. Make some more slabs. Okay, go ahead and make some dinner for yourself, Kernan. Okay, and then this goes up here. And now we just gotta link the two together with a bit of redstone. So let's first break all the cobblestone scaffolding that I made around the side here. Lots of mobs falling and dying right now. So now we just connect them together. Oh wait, I'm gonna need repeaters, won't I? Don't I, I mean. Okay, let's just put torch, torch torch to make sure nothing spawns there while I'm gone. Put one there as well. Yeah, that was a mistake. Well, I'm making suddenly a good amount of progress given how all it took was finding a bunch more redstone. make some of that. Oops, that is a puffer fish. Uh, do I... Oh, I already had... Oh, well. Okay. That is one. that. Let's just put a full stack of cobblestone in here so we don't have to worry about it. And same way here. Some more slabs. Hello there, dolphin. snaking over around the sides here. The torch is in a nicer area. Just right here. Yeah, there's a spider in there again. Okay. And then 
let's just mine down now. Did that skeleton not die? Oh, that's why. Well, now it's dead. Now time to run back all over again. Gotta figure out how we're going to get the signal from where I would normally stand and kill mobs up to the pistons. I think I might be able to just do a torch ladder like this. So there would be like a redstone torch here. And then another one just below that. It's just a chain of powered and unpowered redstone. Not going to worry about there being a zombie villager there at the moment. Okay, so right now that is powered. So if I just stick a lever here this will unpower it and that'll allow mobs to just drop straight down again yeah and then when it's powered it prevents mobs from dropping all the way down so they live which means that I can just farm them for XP I should probably eat before I get wrecked by something. Okay. Good progress, good progress. Look at that. all over the place. I've got a couple in my little forest again, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh, let's first grab a sign set, then we can label what that lever does. Sign. Get off the island, creeper.
torques off normal xp there we go Ooh. okay looks like there is still a bit of fall damage that's taken Ooh, i got a potato yeah that works real well I think eventually I'm gonna make a more fast way of transporting myself over here. I see some snow up on those mountains, so I might be able to start a ice farm up there later on. I do have a silk touch book, don't I? Pretty sure I do. I'll put that on a mending pick. Yeah, silk touch. So once I get a mending book, I will put that on a pickaxe along with, yeah, okay. Oh, I already had, okay. Well, that was pointless then. Where is that Enderman? Not in here. Where Enderman? Enderman in here? I know that I have another tunnel leading down this way. Hello? Yeah, it's definitely somewhere around here. Is it over here? Nope, okay. But there are mobs nearby. Something up here. I got my torches. Okay, I'm just not gonna worry about it. That's the zombie villager, maybe. But the Enderman is still here somewhere. Let's light that up. And this. Where is that Enderman? That's weird. Okay. You know what I can do? I can use the little... What is it? Can use the composter x-ray glitch thing and that will let me x-ray around to see some caves I'm not looking for ores just oh, I'm gonna need yet another piston won't I I'm just looking for caves so that then I can just make the game a little bit less annoying for myself, to be honest. Okay. Alright, and I can just put this in, like, the wall here. Oh, well that happened. Again. Oh, gotta be careful. Huh, okay. It sounds really close. Um, 
I guess I'll just use the wooden button. Okay, if this kills me, then it's all on me. Nope, it did not kill me. And I'm not in a very good spot. Do it this way instead. Oh, wait. There we go. Where is that Enderman? Did it just barely teleport away or something? Oh, there it is. Well, I know where it is now. And... Looks like there's another one over there. There's that cave that I got lost in. Well then, okay. I will just put this here for when I want to use it. Let's also... Oh wait, I already lit it up. I mean, close it off, I meant. So yeah, that's just going to be there for when I want to use it. As for the Enderman... Actually, let's just leave it alone. It's not hurting anyone down there. Let's head back to the XP farm instead. Anyone? Oh. Okay. Man, I made a lot of improvements. We got a whole new cobblestone generator. We added the final touch to the mob grinder. We got a sneaky little kind of x-ray but kind of not machine that we can use for just making sure that we have the caves all lit up. I'm not really particularly worried about like finding ores in caves. I just want to make sure that they're lit up. Because that way, this will work a lot more efficiently. And there's really no other way to find like those 100% hidden and buried caves without like resorting to Either one, absolutely strip mining the heck out of everything, or two, what I did with the x ray machine thingy. So, yeah, I think I, I will end off this stream here for now. Once again, I made plenty of progress compared to previous streams. The one thing that I don't have right now is food, <laughs> funnily, enough, funnily enough. I have plenty of building blocks. I've got a lot more loot than I had before. And yeah, once again, I have blurry cam now. Like face cam, but blurry. I think I'm just gonna craft some bread, eat it, 
And then, is that Enderman still down there? Yeah, as I was saying, I will just craft some bread, eat it, and then I'll end the stream for now. Yeah, the Enderman's definitely still down there. Put that in there. Oh wait, I already had a ton of wheat. Never mind. Okay, let's save and quit. And as always, thank you for watching.